Welcome to Biz Alchemy, a podcast about creating a new business paradigm by women for women. I'm your alchemical host, Jacqueline Atkins, and I'm going to take you on an extraordinary adventure to create a business filled with ease, fun, spaciousness, and abundance. Hustle, be gone. Let's birth a new way. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm coming to you today very hot. Uh, I'm not sure where that fits into the beach philosophy, except that I wish I was there right now and we'll probably go as soon as I've recorded. I've had to close the house up because since recording this podcast, I'm realizing how many noises there are outside my place. So I live quite near, I live in Byron Bay, just near a resort called Elements, which runs a train into Byron itself. And today is Sunday and I've chosen Sunday because there's builders working next door. So every other day (laughs) there is too much noise. So I'm recording on the Sunday and I realized on a Sunday, the train goes past every, about every 20 minutes. So, and it's really close. So anyway, I have to keep pausing every time. But, uh, and then I hear my landlord who part of his Uh, rooms are over mine. I hear the footsteps, which I don't usually notice. And isn't it amazing? The joys of podcasting. So you might get some of those lovely background noise. Uh, As a sound healer, I would say, bring in that sound. If it ever comes in, just never cringe. Go, oh no, just go, oh, let me use that sound to shift some blocks in my energy body. Uh, I learned that when I was used to host sound meditations because now and again, a loud truck would go past and so it'd be like, oh, bring in that vibration. Let's clear out something. Anyway, let me get on to uh, what I'm going to talk about today, (laughs) which is the E component of the beach philosophy. And the E is all about ease, ease in your business. And it's also about energy. Now, I did touch on energy a little bit uh, in the last episode, just talking about the business's energy. Uh, But I will mention it a little bit more today. But particularly important for uh, our conversation today is ease. Now, I don't reckon I've ever had a client say, I don't need more ease in my business. It's really easy. And I'm sure that actually I have spoken to one lady who did. I have spoken to one. Uh, She didn't have many. She just came for one session, the blueprint, but (laughs) she'd found ease. She was good. Uh, So, but on the whole, no, on the whole, My clients are asking for more ease, more space, simplicity, and it's it's almost like a yearning. It's like this this I know that this is my true way. I know this is part of the flow. And yet we create these entities and these experiences in our business that do not bring us ease. And you know, the, the business model, the patriarchal business model does not have ease in it. it it's, it's not. As I, I mentioned before, it's all output, output, output. Ease is a weakness almost. Yet that, that is changing a little, but certainly for women in business, it's something that women are searching for as, you know, very often there's many balls in the air. So ease in business actually makes it much easier to juggle the other balls. So this old model of business has been about hustle. It's been about struggle. It's been about complexity. Now, even when you hear those words, don't you just shrivel up inside? Like, doesn't it, you contract, you draw your energy in, you bring your aura in. And this is a part of the problem uh, in terms of magnetizing your clients, which we'll go into in another episode. But if your aura is not out and shining, your energy is not out and, and in this beautiful vibration and inviting people in because of the hustle and the complexity and the struggle, you've pulled your aura in. How are you going to attract those clients you really want? So, yeah, we'll go into that another time. But that just popped into my head as, as part of the lack of ease that can very often happen in business. 
Now, I haven't mastered this yet. I'm going to be honest with you. And a part of this shift into streamlining my business is to bring more ease in into my business. My word of the year this year for 2020 was spacious or spaciousness. Well, same thing. And I, it felt important because when I went into the beginning of this year, I was pretty exhausted. I'd gone from a one-to-one model where I was fully booked and it was, I, I, it was exhausting in, in terms of holding space for my clients to go through their, on their journey. And I got to a point where going, okay, it's time to now go into more of a group model. And so about a year ago, I created my membership with the idea that that would bring more space into my business because I could have some one-to-one clients and then serve many more ladies through my membership. But, you know, the thing with me is I like to do new things all the time. So my membership started and that was great. And then I thought, ooh, let me do a mastermind as well. So then I brought on a mastermind as well as my membership, as well as my one-to-one clients. And there wasn't a lot of space in that. My space, what I did create was having a client-free week a month. And that did make a huge difference in giving me space to create. But then I find, and I still find this, my other three weeks are full, very full. So in many ways, there is space overall through that one week, but not space in those other weeks in the same way. So that's where I got to a point a couple of months ago of saying, okay, I have taken the first steps and certainly a group model does support spaciousness and ease a little more but there has to be another way. And for me at this point in time, it's still evolving. The other way is my podcast. And then next year, I'm going to create one group, one group, which will be called Biz Alchemy Playground, because it's going to be a playground. It's going to be fun. And that will encompass everything. There may be a handful of VIPs, but that when I even think about that, oh my gosh, that is ease. That is easy expansion. So think about this for you. Think about where you're at now. Do you feel ease when you're in your business doing the many aspects that make up your business? Do you feel ease? And you know what a big one here is? The shoulds. Oh, if you've got any shoulds, it's going to sabotage your ease. Let me tell you right now. When I wrote my shoulds list fairly recently, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe how many parts of my business were shoulds. And I did not feel aligned with them at all. They weren't fun. And there were quite a few. I was like, holy moly, some of those have to go. If I want a business that is fun and spacious and easeful, I can't have shoulds. So I suggest you do this. Have a look. Write your list, your list of shoulds. And then, you know, don't sort of say, oh, these are all going at once because uh, that might be a bit discombobulating. Just pick one. Okay. How can I release this should? What can I replace it with? Or does it need replacing? Can it just go? And this is a great way to have a look at the aspects of business that are not aligned with you. And I could pretty much guarantee they are probably, they have come from this patriarchal model of business, the old business paradigm. And they've been, you've you know, it's probably all around you, maybe a mentor or a coach has shared it with you uh, or, or just a course that you've done or just putting your eye in, eyes in everyone else's lane has gone, oh my gosh, I should do that because she's doing it and that and that and that. And suddenly you end up with all these shoulds. 
one of those for me, uh, which has really changed my business was I should post on Facebook twice a day. And what's so interesting about that is about, yeah, the beginning of this year. So this is 11 months ago now. I had an app, a social bee I was using to schedule in all my posts. So I just dumped them all in there and they were all scheduled to go at certain times and then it would just rotate them and use the same ones again. And it was really interesting because not that I pay much attention to stats, but I did notice the reach went down big time. And when I thought about it, oh my gosh, here I am all about energy. There was no energy in those posts. There was no sort of my energy was not going into them. It had been there when I first wrote it, but some of those posts were being shown three months, six months later, my energy had changed. And so it's not surprising that that, you know, happened as a result. So what I've done now, I'm, I'm much more, I I stopped using that app and I now go into more posting myself and I still repeat some things like maybe testimonials that clients have given. But what I do is in between that, I just go on when I feel the urge and write a story and share what's going on for me right now, what I'm excited about, what I'm troubled about. what, And I might just do that once or twice a week. But that reaches, that, touch the, that touches the hearts of my clients. So I've got rid of that should and, and changed it. I haven't got rid of it completely. I've changed it. And as I have mentioned previously, I, my plan is to come off Facebook. So I will change that fully. But right now, I'm actually feeling pretty happy with that. It doesn't feel like a should. I'm enjoying it. And so, yes, it might be something that has to go all together. Or it may be something that you can just find another way of doing. Another way that brings you joy. That, that you know, fills you up. And we just forget to look for those other ways sometimes. The thing is with ease, ease allows joy and play. If you are hustling, if things are complex, if they're hard, how can you have joy and play in that? And with joy and play comes a lightness and that lightness shifts your vibration. So here's where we go into energy. So this is, this shows you that Energy bring, like focusing on the energy and your vibration is what brings about ease. So just a quick word about energy. We're all, we're made up of energy. Everything is made up of energy, just at different densities. And energy is the foundation of everything. And this is the same with your business. You might be applying a strategy in your business. You can be doing mindset work in your business. But energy is the foundation. The strategy is important. The mindset's important. But the energy, the energetic component is the foundation of that. What blocks, in quotes, uh, the energy are old stories, memories, beliefs that you have that are held in your energy body. Your energy body contains everything that's ever happened to you, everything, every choice you make, every choice you didn't make, everything you said, everything you didn't say, you held back, everything, it's all there. And also the thoughts and beliefs and experiences of your family, your ancestry. So we can never really know what is holding us back, but guaranteed there is a block in your energy body that could be sabotaging you, that could be making things harder for you. Now, our stories and beliefs in business are very much about the fact that business is hard. So they're sitting there, that's sitting there in the foundation. So that can make it really difficult when you go, okay, I'm making business easy from now on. And yet you've got these stories and beliefs there. The shoulds, the should uh, task that I suggested for you is a great way to uncover some of those stories and beliefs. And it may be that you don't need to do any more, that that is enough to just recognize it and to decide to make a change in moving that out. But if you find yourself frustrated in business, if you find yourself, you know, not enjoying your business anymore, 
it could well be that there's old stories and beliefs sitting in the energy body that are holding back you and holding your back your business back from being uniquely you from doing things your way from doing things on your terms and once you can recognize and once you can shift out those stories and beliefs you will create more ease and as i said ease feeds fun, it feeds joy, it feeds play, it feeds your creativity. It is so aligned to who we are as women, where our energy is much more in flow. So I hope that's given you some ideas about how to bring in some easy expansion into your business and the importance of easy expansion for you as a woman. So I'll see you next episode to create more alchemy in your biz. Thanks for listening to Biz Alchemy. I'm Jacqueline Atkins. If you enjoyed this show, I'd love it if you subscribed, shared with your friends and left a review. And if you'd like to continue the conversation, head to JacquelineAtkins.com. Until next time, enjoy creating alchemy in your biz.